98. What is meant by the term unified board and do we have them in Britain? It is tempting to be facetious and say that boards are often far from unified. In fact, as you will know, boards are sometimes disunited and even downright quarrelsome. This, though, is of course not what is meant by the question. The term unified board means a board where all the directors, both executive and non-executive, have the same legal rights and responsibilities. Each is responsible for the operations of the company and the actions of the board. The directors may choose to divide up their responsibilities, for example by setting up board committees, but it is not a legal requirement that they do so. When they do, the directors as a whole choose the committee members and can change the committee members. They retain overall responsibility. The concept of a unified board has been under pressure in recent years. In particular, corporate governance codes, including the Combined Code, specify special responsibilities for non-executive directors. Nevertheless, the principle of a unified board is long established in Britain and it has been retained by the Companies Act 2006. It must be a matter of opinion but many people consider that a unified board is a source of strength. Some people, perhaps the same ones, regret the trend towards non-executive directors policing the executive directors.